I put in my uh, Simpson strong tie joist hangers. You can see them here. And uh, the question is now, well, how many do I have? So I wanna make a schedule that will uh, tell the contractor how many of these items are in the project. And that can be used for many different uh, components. Basically, it's, you know, it's a database driven program so we can extract from that database any any kind of information that we need to know but in this case I want to know what is the uh, uh, how many and what type of uh, hangers should the contractor order so I drag this over I think you can see it on the screen and I just go to schedule here but I keep this on a separate separate screen because it's uh, it's just easier uh, to keep all of the real estate uh, open for my work. And then on the other screen, I have um, the properties in the project browser open. And then in the little corner of that screen, I have a 3D view all the time so I can look at what I'm working on and you know, get comfortable with how you do things. But anyway, here we go to schedules, all right? I wanna make a new schedule uh, of quantities. Okay, and the next thing that pops up here is uh, some of the categories. And I want structural connections. So I'll scroll down here to structural connections right here. So I'm going to pick that one and say, okay. And Revit gives me all kinds of choices of, of uh, fields that I can add to my uh, schedule. And until I add these over here, they don't, they don't exist in the schedule. So one thing that I'm curious about is uh, count. I definitely want to know how many. So let's grab that over there. And then um, let's give Simpson Strong Tie a little credit there. Who's the manufacturer? And then I think model might be what I'm looking for. I'm not sure, but we'll say okay and let's see what comes up in the schedule. Look at that. I have. Um, the manufacturer and the model. I'm going to grab this now and put it back where it belongs on my other screen, which you cannot see. And now let's take a look at this guy. We'll spread these out a little bit. All right, look at that. These are how many and all of the different models that I've put into this project. And so, Criticism, of course, would be, well, you know, really taking you know, Revit models too far in terms of the detail. I don't necessarily disagree with that, but um, it certainly is a nice feature here. So now, I guess I should bring this guy back again, because we want to take a look at the fields. Okay, So if we come over here, And let's see. <clears throat> Grab the wrong one. I don't want my browser. I want my properties. So I'm going to take this one back and grab my properties. Okay, so now here's my fields that I want to deal with. So let's take a look at the fields first of all. Uh, that's what we had originally. All right, so now do I want to filter anything out? Um, I can filter by model, manufacturer, or none. And I think I'll go with none for now. And then sorting and grouping. Well, what should we sort by? How about if we sort by the model? So all of the different models. Now let's just say okay and see what happens now. So all my models are grouped together now um, instead of you know randomly placed in there. What else can we do now? Do I need to really specify each and every one of these? And I would say no. So let's go back to our uh, sorting and grouping. I'm going to edit that again. And in, uh, itemize every instance, not necessary. Okay but give me a grand total necessary. Well, let's just see what happens now. 
There we go. So now I have my count, I have my manufacturer, and I have my model. So I, this tells me exactly how many of each of those that I have um, for the contractor to say, okay, I need to order 11 of these, six of these, one of these, and 97 of those. Wow. I saw on the website, they're like six, seven bucks a piece. Maybe they're less if you buy them in quantity, but say they're $7 a piece and they got a hundred, they're $700 in, just in um, hangers of this two by 10 hangers. Um, now, if I wasn't familiar with this, I could actually highlight it and say, highlighted model, and it will take me and show me where that is in the model. I said, well, I don't think I have any of those. Well, how do I have any of those at all? And it'll take me to the model. And there we go. So it's showing me those, it's highlighted. Let's see if I close this down. And now I drag this over because I am kind of done with that. You can see that it's highlighted in the model, all of those for me to see. So in the event that I wasn't sure where that, uh, that particular object, whichever object it may have been, I wasn't really sure where, where it is in the, in the model. Yeah, Robert says, okay, well, here you go, idiot. There they are right there. You put them in, you should remember that. And so that's a quick uh, schedule for the uh, Simpson uh, strong ties. And we can do that for basically any product that we um, have, any, any family that we've had in our, our project.